Welcome back. Uh, this is Pat Dunn, and we are playing Skyrim, and it is a bear creature which so far I have never defeated with this character. Although I have beaten dragons, bears might be more dangerous than dragons in Skyrim, anyhow. Part of it is that dragons uh, they're not particularly maneuverable when they're on the ground, and when they're in the air you can take all these steps to get around them. Bears just have a good raw attack power, and, uh, and they can generally outrun you. So if you can't heal enough to survive their attacks long enough uh, for you to kill them, you're going to get eaten. So, we are heading down into this dungeon to find the Daedric Artifact, Azura's uh, Star. Now there are two things that we could do with it. We could either return it to the Priest of Azura that we met earlier. Yeah, nasty skeleton thing. Or we can give it to a wizard who will give us um, an option to do more, uh, in a more interesting thing with it. We eventually intend to give it to the wizard, but only when we're tough enough to uh, to go inside it and clean it out. And there are some nasty things in there that we, uh, we need to deal with in order to do that successfully. But we are down here just to handle getting it. And, aha! There is an undead, and if you will remember, oh, we're going to back off because undead we can handle. Um, actually, we're going to use our scroll from Jusargo now. However, you will notice that we took a hit when... Uh, We took a hit just as much as uh, as the skeleton did, so we have to be careful with these. Jisargo is not that uh, he's not careful enough with his enchantments, and uh, yeah, so you, you can't trust his scrolls to do the right thing yet. Of course, it did kill the uh, skeleton, so that's cool but it's not so cool that it hurt me. Okay. So, switch back to the bow. There is another cultist. Is someone there? Let's see if we can sc scoot back and out of the way. Maybe we can. If we can, then we'll get some Nice improvement of our sneaking skill. Looking good. So we can scoot back and give her an arrow. Now she raised that other guy from the dead, so he's going to dissolve into dust when she's dead. So things are looking good. Snowberries. We can get our bow back. Some grapes. Or snowberries. Egg. So one of the, the things that I do wish that Skyrim had is the ability to decide that there's some things that you should never pick up. Because I don't want wooden plates. They're not they're just not useful to me. But oftentimes you have to be really precise with where you're aiming your cursor if you don't want to accidentally pick them up. Uh, I think there are skeletons nearby. It's that cre creaking sound. It's a pretty good sign. I think there's an enemy all the way over there. Not sure if... Oh yeah, he can make it to where we are, so we need to back off. And... Oh. 
And hopefully I can manage this. So that wolf was already dead. Whoa! And I just was unobservant and did not spot... And we're taking a lot of damage here. Let's scoot forward, see if we can... A little bit of healing... And a potion of resist magic will help a little bit. Not a lot, though. We need another potion of, of healing. Just as... And unfortunately, our opponent here is, is also using potions, so... But we took care of it. There's an orcish... And somebody is... oh. So there's a second skeleton over there. So we're gonna go and use just a uh, second one of Jizargo's scrolls against it. And we have to heal up afterwards, because again, Jizargo's uh, scrolls are kind of defective. Occasionally you might hear me mispronouncing it as Jizago, because this is actually the first time that I've noticed that uh, for a long time I was just misspelling, uh, or uh, misreading his name. Okay, can grab some goodies in this cooking area. It's kind of sad to see a dead rabbit there. We're gonna sneak, get back to sneaking. Push back to a bow and see what else there is around here. I don't see any other foes. It is kind of dark, but the lighting is good enough that yeah, it looks like I'm alone in, in this room. Some troll fat. Okay, that's looking good. Keep on moving. Oh, and there is our third. Okay, so. Sweet. So now the next time we see Jizargo, we can tell him that we're actually done testing his, uh, his scrolls. And we're going to save just in case. And uh, for now, we're going to press on. I should note that, so the effect that's on us happens to be a combination of two things. First, there, uh, there was the initial explosion, but that's not hurting us anymore. The second thing is that we have a cloak effect, which is when you have a damaging magical effect that hangs around and hits any nearby foes. Yeah, a little bit too close there, and we were spotted, but we are backing off enough that I think... Yes, you were just hearing things, exactly. And cool. I took care of these guys. They almost got to fire some shots off at me, but didn't quite manage it. And here's a skill book. Enchanting, and I will pick it up because skill books normally sell for a decent amount of. Uh, Decent amount of gold. I accidentally picked up a ruined book. I'm just gonna drop that. Not useful. Here's a soul gem. A potion, go tide, okay. A locked door. Is there anyone inside? This looks like a bedroom. 
Yeah, looks like we are alone in here. But these are people that had some potions. And soul gem. So yeah, soul gems are fantastic reward at this point of the game. This is an enchanting uh, or alchemy lab. Okay, there's nobody nearby, and there's an enchanting bench up there. Let's tiptoe into here. See, no, there are no foes in this bedroom, and there are some more enchantments. Cool. So the backstory for this area, if I remember right, this is where a um, where some wizards were doing research on soul gems. So what do we have here? We have some filled soul gems. We have some items. Let's improve these orcish daggers. Two seventy six, three oh eight. 556. Okay, that's our current best weapon enchantment here. So we'll put that on both of these staggers. Um, I guess we might as well... Uh, these are all filled with petty souls, so I'm not going to enchant anything I really care about um, with them. So I'm just doing this for the experience right now. What else should we do? Iron dagger, soul gem, turn on dead. Now this iron dagger is actually stolen, so that is truly and absolutely just for the uh, experience. And actually, I'm going to drop it now because I just uh, I don't want to carry it around until I figure out uh, some way to deal with it. Let's improve our health. Um, our restoration is still... Okay, we don't have any perks that we're really ready to take care of here. Okay, this is a nice perk. That's probably the last perk we're going to worry about in enchanting for a little bit. And we can hear that creaking. I think that is the sign of more undead. So let's start sneaking now. Get our bow out. And the sneak kill. Always a bonus when that works out. But we're going to get this next one with our sword. Unless it's a human, no, it's a skeleton. Oh, that's an ascendant. Okay, that's not good. And he, she has a, a really. No, I don't think I do have a chance against her. Or at least it will be challenging. So, if I do have a chance, it's going to be a melee combat. So I'm going to save here, just because there's a reasonable chance I'm going to die here. Maybe she, she will forget about me, and I'll have some other way to take care of it. Okay, that's not looking good. Yes, but I am running away. And hiding behind the corner here. And I do have Unrelenting Force learned, so maybe I can knock her down and take some swipes at her if, uh, if I get a good shot. They are coming around the corner. Let's see, who is it going to be? Why is this not working? Shout. Unrelenting force. Wait. Okay, the game is confused and not letting me do a shout. 
That is... And I am still sneaking and I am taking massive damage. Okay, let's heal ourselves back up and see if... Uh, okay, resist magic is helpful. I don't have any resist frost. Uh, maybe a paralysis potion will, will, will give me uh, options here. Okay, it helped a little bit. Not enough. Let's see if I have any other po poisons that I can apply. Um, frostbite. And, uh, well, I can see if I can just muscle through this. Oh, uh, have to use the right kinds of... Unfortunately, I'm being slowed... Yeah, this is not going that well. So I killed her assistant, which is good, but I am not that healthy now. Fortunately, my shouting has just about recharged, so I might be able to shout at her again and cut her down while... And let's see if there's anything good in here. No. Okay. Might be able to lure her over here. Okay, so come on. Let's see if maybe muffling will help. Get up. Almost have her dead. Got her. Sweet. So that was a pretty tough fight, but... Ah, and she has a glass dagger. Glass daggers are pretty nice. I made it out of there. Burned a lot of potions, but I did it. Okay, so what else is there to do? Nothing else in here. She chased us all the way through here, so we have to head back forward to um, be somewhere where we weren't yet. Some wine. Can celebrate our victory with some wine. Um, it's kind of dark. Let's let's fix that. What is that? That's a pot. Okay. Free shield. Oh. Shield is attached to a skeleton. We could take the shield off. Anyhow. Soul gem. Hmm. And here is a chest. Now later on in the game you have to be a little bit careful with chests because they're frequently booby trapped. And here is a pull chain that should... Uh, I'm not sure what. Oh, that raises and lowers, uh, lowers the drawbridge. Okay, not that important. I guess we'll actually leave it up because it'll slow down our pursuers if we have to end up running backwards. Stuck down. Just because my intuition says that we have not faced all the baddies in this dungeon yet. Let's see. Some more potions. Which is good to help us deal with the potion apocalypse that we just faced. Oh, okay, so this... We've actually been to this room before. But we were in the lower portions of it. I think. No, maybe not. 
because I don't remember there being anyhow there's either that door at the top of the staircase or we can head down there I think we want the door so this is if I re remember correctly this is the we're getting pretty near where the Azores uh, star is I think all these collapsed stones it, it, uh, stone areas it often makes me wonder usually oh I've heard a voice. Oh, shoot. That is stupid. That is really stupid. Yeah, the collision detection stuff in the in the game unfortunately doesn't always mean that what you see is what you get. Ah, these are pretty warped pieces of, uh, of stone. Okay, are they sit sitting back down again? Almost. So this time... So I think I killed that guy. And let's scoot back here and hopefully she will forget about me quickly. Well, there were times in life being forgotten quickly is a big advantage. So I think she raised her companion because I heard the moan of the undead. And now he's just standing behind her rather than doing what he normally does. That is fine. Let's see if we can get her with a well-placed bow. Yes, or well-placed arrow. Are we alone in the room? Looks like we are now. Okay, so there's some goodies in the chest. Spell we already know. And we're getting kind of full, so yeah. It, we're being somewhat selective with what we pick up. Another uh, skill book, this time in Conjuration. Fragments of soul gems. Not terribly useful uh, things to have. Because you can't actually capture souls in them. Let's see what's over here. Uh, more. Oh, this, is, this looks like a storage room. With more things to deal with having just burnt most of our, uh, our potions. So we will head around. And down, it looks like. Step down. Whoa! Oh, bugger. See if we can get far enough away that he'll forget us. This is definitely not how I like to start my fights. Okay, looks like we're doing okay. So we can creep back forward and gift him with an arrow. Oh, and he actually has a reasonable amount of health, so that is not good enough. And he is forgotten again. Yes, the arrow sticking into you is indeed your imagination. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Ooh, and I didn't even hit him this time. That's wasted, uh... Wasted effort. Muffle ourselves, 
head back with a bow. Yeah, because of some goofy things about the control stuff, sometimes it's easier to correct your aim by sidestepping rather than changing your angle. Things might be different if you're not using a joystick. Oh, we missed a potion. Let's pick that up. And yes, you keep believing that. Whoa. Would like him to be further away. And now we have him almost dead. Except he has healed himself, which is a disappointment. But it looks like he's starting to head back in his search for me. Uh, you not only heard something, you felt something. But now it's over. I would prefer not to spend my time doing that careful dancing about for a skeleton now. So they'll walk around each other. And now I, I can deliver an arrow to him. And he is fairly weak at this point. Maybe one more more arrow, maybe two, will do him in. Oh, but he might actually be coming up to where we are. Okay, we're gonna have to rush him. But that's good enough. Okay, looking good. He did get me with a little bit of ice there, which slowed me down for a second. But I am good now. Okay, so what else is there to do? There is a skeleton up there. And I could use a few more souls, so... I'm going to switch to the configuration of... Oh, and there's some doors to unlock to level my lock picking. I have 50 lock picks. Why not use it on uh, on uh, leveling up lock pick? Okay, that's one door. Oh, looks like they all have maybe almost the same combination. Guess we'll find out. Are they all just a little bit to the left? One, two. No, this one seems to be different. And you can see the, the level progress on that little bar at the bottom. And yes, failed attempts do give you some experience, not nearly as much as successful attempts. Okay. And now, ooh, dodged right into the arrow. So skeletons are ridiculously weak, but sometimes they have nice weapons. They're not as as powerful as, as Draugr. That Draugr often can uh, take a few hits. Oh, come on. Almost. So lockpicking, it is a super u useful skill. You'll find yourself using it very frequently. But I virtually never managed to get it up to 100 by the end of the game. Or, or really even all that close. Aha. I am going to save here because I have a bit of a worry that we're getting into areas where the wizards just get... oh, Necromage. Yeah, Necromages are quite tough.
I think they're uh, they're one of the top tiers of uh, of mages. So yeah, you don't want to uh, don't want to take them lightly. If you have to charge them, you want to do it quickly and ideally when they don't have any friends about. But in general, it's probably safer just to avoid uh, avoid the situation where y you're close to them. Okay, so he is in the room, trying to back, back out of the room. Yeah, I got another hit on him in, but unfortunately, this places us in the situation where he's continuing to chase us. back to where we were before. Okay, he's done chasing us, but he is also pretty tough. There is a little bit of cat and mouse here, but fortunately the cat is really, really stupid. I think here I'm actually... I just killed one of the creatures that he raised from the dead. Unfortunately, he probably has more friends that he can raise from the dead, so I'm going to hang out here. Okay, he's not going to run all the way back. I can get another hit in. He doesn't quite know where I am, but he's running right towards me. So I do want to... I'm a little bit nervous because he's kind of near. But maybe we're okay. Yeah, he's forgotten where we are. Or he's forgotten me. Which is good. I can creep back forward. Let's see if he would like to take another offer for a free arrow. Oh, got one of his raised buddies instead. Well, good enough, because eventually I might have to close with him. And if I do, I would prefer to close just with him, rather than him and everyone else in the world. Okay. Uh, yeah, I figured monsters that, uh, or enemies that can heal, uh, heal normally will heal when they think that they're getting too close to a one-hit kill. He's very nearby now. Okay, let's move back across the corner. You can see there's all this mist that keeps on dropping in. And rain is filtering through the stone. It's amazing that some of this architecture is still around, but it is not necessarily the most comfortable place to be. Looks like he might have healed himself again. Let's sneak back here and hope that he is not going to find us. Looks like we're good. The eye is closing. It is closed. We are hidden. We'll move forward again. See where he's made his way off to. He's... This is really pretty predictable. You'd figure... If we were a real mage, or a, a real human who was intelligent, he would lay a trap for me. Fortunately, Very few games have have an AI that's good enough uh, for that kind of thing. So back forward we go again. Ah, oh, shoot! Wasted it without even hitting him. Okay. Okay, we have him down pretty pretty weak, uh, but he just healed himself again. That's no good.
Oh, but he ran off and he healed. That's no good. And I am a decent person with a bow. And a lot of the time, a decent person with a bow and human level intelligence. So Black Soul Gems, they are particularly neat because if you, uh, if you do a soul trap on a human, you can actually capture human souls inside a Black Soul Gem. Other types of soul gems are not powerful enough to do that. And also, any human soul is better than basically any soul of any other creature that, well, at least th that has a soul that you can grab. Here I'm popping down under the water just to grab a bone meal. Sometimes there are chests down under the water. You do have to be careful that you don't, uh, don't run out of breath while you're down there. But so long as you don't stay down for too long, you should be okay. And you don't die instantly when you run out of breath. You just uh, find it increasing. Uh, you start taking damage. I'm actually going to save here, and I will see you in the next video where I'll grab Azura's Star.